Has your BMW started misfiring and running rough? Have you got the fault codes 30BA, 30BB and other injector circuit faults? <coughs> Want to know how to quickly diagnose the root cause of the fault without spending hundreds on replacement injectors, coils, ECUs and anger management classes? <coughs> well, you've come to the right place because I'm going to give you a quick rundown of how to thoroughly diagnose the causes of these faults and determine whether you have a faulty injector, wiring loom or ECU. So the codes 30BA, injector circuit failure XYZ slash DME internal fault and 30BB, injector circuit failure XYZ slash DME internal fault affect multiple BMWs built between 2005 and 2014 from 1 Series, 3 Series, 4 Series and 5 Series models fitted with N43, N53 and N54 engines. These codes refer to which bank the ECU, also known as the DME in BMW vehicles, is detecting a problem on. 30BA relates to a fault in Bank 1, which is comprised of injectors 1 to 3 on a 6-cylinder engine or injectors 1 and 4 on a 4-cylinder engine. 30BB relates to Bank 2, which is injectors 4, 5 and 6 on a 6-cylinder engine or 2 and 3 on a 4-cylinder engine. They can also be accompanied by multiple injector-specific codes and will usually be flagged when the vehicle is experiencing misfires, rough running, the engine management light appearing on the dash, no injector signal or complete non-start of the vehicle. Now it doesn't take a diagnostic genius to know that these symptoms aren't exactly specific and they can be caused by countless things on a vehicle such as bad spark plugs, faulty ignition coils, carbon build up on the injectors and many other factors. However, some of you will be aware that BMWs manufactured during these years are notorious for experiencing these faults during their lifespan. So much so that BMW actually issued a series of technical service bulletins on the 30BA and 30BB fault codes. This was due to internal hardware components in the vehicle's ECU being damaged due to excessive voltage being sent from the ignition coils. The low quality nature of these parts has made them a very common failure point, meaning that buying a replacement ECU from the dealership could eventually lead to it failing in the same way. Fortunately, here at ECU Testing, we have a comprehensive rebuild solution that can put all your worries in the past. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's figure out if the ECU has bit the dust or if there is an external fault causing the 30BA or 30BB fault codes. Now, before we go charging into our diagnosis, Let's look at some different scenarios that can occur when dealing with these faults. If your vehicle isn't producing any fault codes, but you're experiencing some of the fault symptoms, then start by checking the basics. Spark plugs, dirty injectors, or any of these other faults will cause misfires and rough running without necessarily producing any codes. However, if you've got fault codes for both 30BA and or 30BB, as well as injector specific codes like these, then the fault will lie with either your injector the wiring to the injectors or the ECU. Before we start any diagnosis, we will need to free up access to the injectors and ECU in the engine bay. This process may differ slightly depending on the model of vehicle you are working on. But on this 3 Series, we will remove the cabin air filter cowling and bracket along with the engine cover. Remember to always disconnect the negative side of the battery before removing any electrical connectors, especially to the ECU, which is located below the air filter bracket on the passenger side of the vehicle. So as we were saying, if you have either a 30BA and or 30BB, as well as injector specific codes, then start by removing the electrical connector of the potentially problematic injector. Inspect the connector for terminal tension and any signs of corrosion. And if you do notice any damage, replace the connector using a repair kit. Then clear the codes and re-scan the vehicle to see if the codes have reoccurred. However, if the connector looks good, then check the electrical connectors at the ECU side for corrosion or damage. If both check out OK, then the next step is to check the integrity of the wiring from the problematic injector to the ECU. Do this by performing a continuity test between both terminals of the injector connector and the corresponding terminals in the ECU connector. If the multimeter reads open circuit or shows high resistance, then replace or repair the wiring loop. You may need to refer to your vehicle's wiring diagram in order to identify the correct terminals on the ECU connector. If the readings check out OK, then swap out the problematic injector with a known working one to determine if the fault lies with only the injector and not both it and the ECU. 
To save yourself buying a brand new injector, swap out the problematic one with a working one on the engine from the non-affected bank. This will only be possible if you only have one of the 30BA or 30BB codes and not both. Next, reattach the battery, clear the fault codes, and then start the engine and rescan for any codes. If they have disappeared, then your fault was caused by the injector, which will need replacing and recoding to the ECU using INPA. You will need to make a note of the flow rate values specified at the top of the replacement injector and enter these into the ECU's memory when recoding. If you don't have any injector specific codes, but you do have either a 30BA or 30BB code, then it's time to move on to the next step. Now we need to determine if the codes 30BA and 30BB are being caused by a problematic injector, multiple injectors, or by the ECU. As we've said before, these codes are specific to either bank one or bank two injectors. So depending on which code you have, remove all injectors from the affected bank apart from one. Clear the fault codes with the engine off, then restart the engine and rescan to see if the 30BA or 30BB codes are still present. If they are not present, then turn the engine off, disconnect the good injector and reconnect the second injector on the affected bank. Continue this process until the 30BA or 30BB codes reappear, and if they do, this will indicate which injector is potentially at fault. Replace this with a known good injector, and then clear the codes and rescan. If the code remains even after replacing the injectors, then you can safely assume that the fault is being caused by a faulty ECU, which will need to be remanufactured. If you do end up discovering the fault is being caused by your ECU, then don't buy an expensive replacement from the dealership. The subpar internal components will eventually fail in the same way and cause the fault to reoccur. That's why we use components rated higher than standard in the remanufacturing solution we provide for these ECUs to ensure the fault never returns. Find out how to send your unit into us by clicking the link in the description. We hope you've learnt some diagnostic tips on how to identify the causes of engine misfiring and 30BA and 30BB fault codes. If you have any questions, then please ask them in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe to help out the channel. Thanks for watching, I've been Tim and I'll see you next time. We hope you've learnt some diagnostic tips. From here. We hope you've learnt some diag... <laughs> Too loud, sorry mate. We hope, <laughs> we hope. <laughs> Rolling. <laughs> <laughs>